months before, this month, the Julian people have once more demonstrated unshakable determination to fulfill the three-year plan. Under my father's wide guidance, industrial output has reached its highest level in the history of the empire. However, as in previous months, this success has been threatened by the failure of the Kai trading centers, where production has fallen yet again. While the Kai provinces are living off our energy resources and increasing the production of inessential consumer goods, the Kai economy in the Halwa area has been reduced to virtual insignificance. Your cynical contempt for the Kai people is intolerable, Ben Harris. The Kai members will no longer stand for your insults. The Kai members should have paid more attention to ensuing economic efficiency. At the moment, you are simply exploiting the drools. All of us here know what a destructive part you have played in reducing the energy reserves in the Kai area of Hawa, our capital city. Never having dared to contravene the 20-year-old Aldinium agreement, you now try to harm us in this way. If you don't like the Julian policies, party leader Caro, you are of course entitled to take the necessary diplomatic steps. As you wish, Harris. Your father will be delighted at the consequences. I hereby declare that the Kai group is no longer prepared to tolerate your insult in any way. Until these points of contention have been resolved, we will take no further part in the activities of the State Council. That was a wonderful piece of dubbing right there. And hello and welcome to a Let's Play Battle Isle 3. <coughs> yeah, Shadow of the Emperor. I think this will still continue, so this isn't the entire opening cinematic. It should be a quite a lengthy one. So that's the one reason I'm not skipping all these. All these. All these, all these credits. Following the defeat of Titan Net 23 years earlier, relationships between the Drillian and Kai peoples at first uneasy after centuries of bitter hostility, gradually improved. Val Harris, the great strategist who was born on Earth, acted as an intermediary and lawmaker to prevent anything which might have threatened the reconciliation between the two peoples. Ben Harris was the only son of Val and his wife Tahmi, who died when Ben was a child. And from the beginning, he proved to have a totally different personality from his father, and totally different age. As his father gradually withdrew from active politics, Ben rose to become the most important man in the state, and Caro, a Kai representative, became his most bitter opponent. was not intelligent enough to have much success with his policies, which consisted of intrigues and vulgarity. Recently, he had resorted to direct insults, which were crude but effective against the proud Kais. After the Kai members had left the state council, the Kai assembly, a conference of the most senior Kai families, decided that Karo should fly back to Halwa and resume the battle with the Kais.
Greetings, mighty Kain. I am delighted to see you looking so well after your serious accident. Who are you? How do you know about me? Karu, Kain Ambassador. Let us dispense with the pleasantries. I am Punt Vasius, custodian and heir of the ancient Julian Empire. I am the only one who survived the assassination of the Twelve Emperors. Oh, you have no idea how difficult it was to build this machine. I designed it as a refuge for my mind and spirit as my body became decrepit over the years. The old Julian Empire? That was centuries ago. It has collapsed and new powers have divided it amongst themselves. The planet is dominated by some criminal drools. How could you? How did you manage to survive? I survived thanks to my own technology, which I developed in secret long before anyone had even thought of weakening the Empire. The overwhelming genius and creative power of my mind kept my spirit alive. I know all about you, Karo, and the fate of your world which you two inherited. I have been observing Chromos for a long time. I receive all the signals from the planet, and I know about the great wars against Titan Net, of the misery of the Civil War and the oppression of your people by the Drolls. I also am aware of your just battle against Ben Harris, the son of that upstart from Earth. I can see and hear everything, and yet I can do nothing. It pains me greatly to see the last vestiges of honesty disappearing from the face of this world. I have a mind to think with. I have the ability to see and hear, and yet I have no hands to act with. Hands? You live and yet can do nothing? That must be terrible. Yes, that is true. The people who now live on Beldar are simple souls, and they are afraid of me. If only there were a power which could convey my will and my message to this world once more, I could be of assistance. Long ago, I developed a device which could transmit my thoughts and my guidance. Even the gigantic Praetorian units, whose power is unequaled, could be controlled by my ambassador. Ben Harris would tremble at the sight of our might, Carol. Our might. We can liberate the population and drive out their oppressors. Help me, Carol. Help us both. Make use of the fruits of my technology, and you will gain such power as you have never dreamed of. Let us show our determination with the ancient battle cry, Factum. by my deeds, Emperor. Factum. Yeah, a bit needlessly long introduction scene to our strategy game. Um, uh, individual map, network game, uh, start a new campaign. 
expert training or normal i'll play with normal i don't know what the difficulty levels mean here i need to get in the game get to the settings Beldhar was now just one of the islands to the east of the main Kai continent of Kar, a gloomy island inhabited by the savage descendants of a once highly advanced people. But many years ago, Beldhar had been the summer residence of the ancient Drillian emperors. People said they had all been assassinated, their proud buildings had fallen into decay, their empire had dissolved into civil wars, and for many years, Beldhar disappeared from history. But deep in the tunnels of the old mines beneath the island, Machines had survived. Their sole purpose was to keep alive the mind of the greatest of the emperors until a body could be found to carry out his will. And his will had only one objective, to gain complete power over Kromos. Puntvasius had lost his body, but two things remained to him, his mind and the gigantic Praetorian units which had once guarded the emperors, weapon systems whose destructive power was still unsurpassed centuries later. And it continues. Administrator, with the help of the Praetorian units and one of the two tribes, you will have no difficulty subjugating the primitive inhabitants of the island in the name of the Empire. Do not be deterred. You must smash their resistance. Your orders shall be obeyed, Emperor. Factum. And immediately, it's sort of obvious why I dislike this game compared to the second one, and that's the interface shit. It's probably extremely more small, but it's small for me too. I I I can't expand this window any larger. So there are a few things I can do to make things more what's happening but the fact of the matter is you have this game uses your ah, desktop resolution but the game was never intended to play at resolutions that nowadays you have on desktop or or you need to have in order to con uh, record a proper quality video so the game is very very problematic in that sense it's it's basically a windows crappy windows interface of some kind all kinds of info windows that you have to manage yourself and get into place to get this into some kind of playable condition. Okay. That's repeat of the Yeah, these are video buttons. We need to do something about this. I, I can't even see you know, anything. And there's a limit to how low I can drop the desktop resolution, because even now it's a borderline where, where even if I can record it, if I drop it further, I can certainly record, but it will be at a quality that, when transferred to a service like YouTube, becomes totally unwatchable anyway. So, large hex squares. So I, I still can probably expand. Oh, I can expand it now. Ah, oh, thank goodness, Jesus. At least now we can see something. It's not perfect by any means, but if we adjust things a bit. We can see something. Uh, this is more of our information window. So now we can see battle robots. We can see the weaponry, golem empire, health 10, 35 fuel. I'm not sure what that is. Is that smooth and range too? One point of experience. I have no idea what that means. Those are the weapons he has and the ammunition he has for them. So, this is uh, much better already. 
see if we can do something else. Battle 3D. Pass in the ground. Mm, I, we have to experiment with that. I'm not sure how it works. Because it's a window system. So... I know how, what it does. It shows us the three, three battles. But what I mean is... Since this is a window system, it doesn't close this strategic map window while it does it. So it will probably open up a uh, extra window to show the battle. So if it does that, I'm not sure if there's any point in disabling it. We'll have to see. Video size normal. That's something we can't affect on. We can affect the battle size. I'm not sure I want to affect that, not now. Because if we put it to too large, it will take over the entire screen. And at that point, we'd have to disable it anyway. Mouse click volume. With zero. That the music volume? Mouse click volume, it clearly says mouse click volume. But it seems to be mouse click and music volume. Yeah, it seems right. Uh, this should be okay. I don't want to have the music too loud, it's a strategy game. Refueling units manually, yeah, that's fine. Refueling units automatically, yeah, I'll do the manual stuff. Do not attack allies. Attack allies. Yeah, I complained about this in the second game. It's not an ability I wouldn't like to have, but in the previous, yeah, these are our allies. It constantly tried to attack allies, and it was fairly annoying, so. I guess they heard my voice from the future or something. Yeah, uh, decrease a lot of these volumes at least by a little bit. Refueling online help off, yeah. I think this is about as good as it's going to get. We might have to just a little bit. No, that's not too bad. And now we should be ready to tackle our first mission. <laughs>